This tutorial is going to be on patterns in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, first I'm going to start out by creating a new document, 10 by 10. To create a pattern, it is very much the same way as you would create a paintbrush. I'm going to zoom in as much as I can and then use the pencil tool to draw the pattern that I want. Um, it will show up however you have this, the color you have it in. I'm going to use black. Most people think that you cannot change the color of a pattern once you have it already set, but there is a way you can, which I will show later. Once you have this drawn, however you want, you go to Edit, Define Pattern, and it will give you a preview of it and then you get to name it, which I'm going to name mine 01 and then you hit OK. Now to use this pattern you have to go to the paint bucket tool and generally where it says foreground you want it on pattern and you're automatically given your patterns however it shows up in the current set that you have open So first, in order to keep this, because once we change the sets, it will be erased, we have to go to Preset Manager, and you click the pattern. If you hold down the Shift key, you can click multiple ones and save them in a set. And then you just name it here. But make sure it is in the correct folder which would be your C drive, program files, Adobe, Photoshop 7.0, presets, patterns, which it should be the same way for any version of Photoshop unless you are using a Mac. Then you just click Save As and your pattern will be saved. You should, you won't see it in this menu until you close out of Photoshop and open it again. Now to see how my new pattern looks, I will go to New. I'll create a document about 200 by 200 and use the paint bucket tool. Select my pattern and that's what this one looks like. You can see it better if you give it a background, so I'll make the background white. Make sure you switch it back to foreground for it to be that color. Now to change the color of the uh, pattern, it does not have to stay black. If you double click on the layer with your pattern, this menu pops up. If you switch the opacity, the fill opacity, advanced blending to zero, it will end up with a blink screen. However, if you go to color overlay under satin and above gradient, you will notice it turns red. Now you can change the blend mode of it here if you wanted and the color you can change the blend mode of it here if you want and the color you just click the small rectangle and you have your color thing. I'll make mine blue Leave it on normal. And of course you can turn this off if you want.
And generally you will see people putting the patterns over other pictures like this one that I just made real quick. You just create a new layer, switch the switch the paint bucket tool to pattern up here, fill it in. You can change the blend mode if you want. If you don't like the color, change it. But if you have the layer itself on soft light, but you have this on the fill on 0%, it will not take on the blend mode. You'll have to use the blend mode in here. And you can change the opacity if you want. But that is the pattern tool. And I hope this helped you guys out.